Hey everybody, so in this video they want us to find the components of a tangent graph and determine a possible equation right here. Okay, so these are your four components. With tangent, the easiest components to find first are your phase shift and your vertical shift. Um, both of these are going to be based on what's called the inflection point. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. So the inflection point is going to be this point right here. So anytime you're given three points with a tangent graph, it's always going to be the one in the center. Typically with a tangent or a cotangent graph, you'll be given what's called an upper dot and a lower dot. Really all those demonstrate our vertical stretch. So this dot is the inflection point. Uh, the phase shift of the tangent graph comes from this x value, and the vertical shift comes from the y value. So because this coordinate is 4, negative 2, the phase shift is 4, and the vertical shift is negative 2. So let's type those in. 4, vertical shift, negative 2. Now, the vertical stretch is the distance, the y value distance, from the inflection point to either the upper dot or the lower dot. So let's come back here and look at this image. So this is at negative 2, that's the y value, and then we went up to the x-axis, so 0. So this has a vertical stretch of 2. And then there's, there are a couple of ways to find the period um, you can look inflection point to inflection point, but with graphs, sometimes that's kind of hard depending on how many uh, actual cycles of tangent they have. Another easy way is to do asymptote to asymptote. So with our asymptotes being marked, that's going to be by far the easiest way to do it here. So if I can just count the distance from 1 to 7, that's going to be 6. So that's going to be the period. So I come back here and say 6. All right, these are all of my components of the tangent graph. Now they want the equation. Now, if you've never seen the equation for tangent, it looks like this. So you have A times tangent of B times X minus C, and this is plus D. So you have lots of different variables, and this is telling me, hey, you're wrong here. What we want to do is plug in the values for each of these variables. So A, this is your vertical stretch. So this is where I'm going to put in 2. So here, I'll erase A, and I'll put in 2. All right. B is your horizontal dilation. Now, most people make the mistake. They say, oh, B, that's the period. No, it is not. It's the horizontal dilation. With tangent, it is pi over the period. So here for B, I'm going to say pi over my period of 6. So that's going to be the value of B. C, this is your phase shift. My phase shift was 4, so I'm going to say X minus 4. D is my vertical shift, so instead of saying plus D, I will say minus 2. And this is going to be my equation. Yay, we got everything right. So that's going to be all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.